Canals are a common feature in riverine areas. They are the foremost means of transportation and commerce. The businesswoman needs it as a means to ferry her smoked fish and bags of crayfish to the market. The young children use it as a means of transportation to school. And the men row it into the sea for their big catch. The keno is very important in the everyday life of those who live or work in the islands of Ibuno. Though ferries and speedboats are now a common sight in the waters of Ibuno, the keno is still king here. But keno building is not dock suit. It involves a whole lot of technicalities. And to achieve a functional boat, attention must be paid to the minutest details. We are right at the Okoro to jetty under the 600 meters long Ibuno Bridge. The remarkable thing about this bridge is that it is the longest bridge in the entire South South Nigeria and it took 13 years for the NDDC to complete. Okay, back to the beauty of Kano making. A group of Kano makers who have been in this business for years do their construction and assemblage of the Kano's right here at the Okorotsu Jetty. Their most preferred wood is the iron red wood, botanically known as the Lofira Alata. Its aesthetic properties are top notch yet. But the red wood is basically preferred because of its strength, flexibility, and rot resistance. Even with the rot resistance quality of the red wood, the canoe makers still have to doubly ensure the end product is watertight and durable. We saw a lot of canoes that have been in use for several years, yet still seaworthy. That is the double assurance we are talking about. Here is the entire process of Keno assembly at the Okorotu jetty. The wood is first sourced and cut into appropriate shapes and sizes. They are then smoothened to enable an easy flow of the assembling process. The Keno is now taking shape. The outer base of the canoe is coated with tar. Now here is what the tar looks like. When stored for long, the tar solidifies, so it has to be heated up to make it usable. After the tar covering process, aluminium is used to layer it. And for this size of canoe, you need over 1,000 nails to hold the aluminium in place. The entire canoe making process may take days or even months to complete, depending on the size of the canoe. The fishermen who eventually purchase these canoes also buy fishing nets for their expeditions. So our team at Discovery Eye went deep inside the islands of Ibuno in search of those who weave and repair these nets. Come with us in the next video as we take you on a journey into the intricate world of net making on the Ibuno Islands. <laughs>